uh, this is Spain. You know, you will have a coffee, a fiesta. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we, we all need to bring him an iPad. Okay. Fiesta sounds nice. Fiesta and siesta, both of you. Okay, so what I do, uh, it's it's very simple. I, I won't even touch the door. You know, it's maybe, I don't know, rustic Shabbat. I don't know how yeah. you, you're going to call it. Rustic Shabbat, that's right. Yeah, so I don't know. We will make uh, 150. It's 450. Six hundred sixty is fine. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just you know a little touch. That's it. The more so simple, the better. <laughs> exactly. Up. Whoa. And now I will let it rest for maybe half an hour because we will have to eat at twelve o'clock. That's it. Yeah. I have a Belgium schedule. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And uh, that's it. We, we. I won't even cut it. I mean, I will put it on some down, it will open itself, and uh, you know, it's a fantastic way to make bread, I think so, mm. yeah. It's, it's nice, nutritious. You gonna, you know, all the information I give you, but because, it, <laughs> because it's gonna make the World Cup, you know, and I'm from the French team, so he... <laughs> <laughs> and so he take all the information, he's very clever, look at him. <laughs> he's gotta give credit though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, he's got the microphone over there. <laughs> Hey, so hey, we, we support we support the Belgian team. So you were yeah yeah, well, yeah 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 I know it's give and take I know. <laughs> I know. You've got um, flax seeds, sesame seeds. Yeah, I've got uh, here. I've got I don't know the name. You know Some the corn grits. Yeah, I've got corn. I've got uh, lin brun, lin blanc, sesame, and the uh, the beer one. The what's the name? Chia. Barley. Barley. Yeah, Barley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barley. The loge. Wet. C'est non, c'est le malt, non? C'est du sel. C'est du sel. And uh, I've got problem problem with the. Uh, I just slept about uh, three hours. So sorry about my English, you know. It wasn't good than like yesterday either. It's better than yesterday. I think you're doing wonderfully. Yes. Um, right. It wasn't. You're doing wonderfully. Uh, luckily, you have at least a, a couple of supporters here. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. All these guys. I think I think you need to say hello to Paul over in Barcelona. Hello, Paul. How are you doing? Bocadillo. <laughs> Paul is an Australian uh, friend, let's say. Yeah. He was a student from uh, Australia. And he came to, to Barcelona. And he came in a sourdough, 100 sourdough. I give a course uh, on July, which was uh, with a biodiversity flower. And uh, he was pretty interesting about that. But he was very interesting about the bocadillo, with, mm -hmm. you know, the Spanish ham and everything. So we keep in good contact, actually. I don't have a lot of contact with him, but he's a very yeah, nice guy. He came to my place in the summer. Really? Yeah. He's very funny guy. That's Paul. Yeah. It's sort of networking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, to he, he told me, Johan, what do you think if I hop in a bakery and I make bocadillo? <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, it's amazing. <laughs> Very, very amazing guy, very lovely. He's pretty cool. Yeah. Who came up with this method? Who came up with this method? There is actually, uh, I think this is very ancestral method probably, but we don't have any name. I've okay. got name of, uh, I've got name of the guy who, who re really fight for nutrition, which was uh, Christian Reminici, which was the whole the director of uh, the INRA. The INRA is the institu uh, national institution of nutrition, blah, 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 blah in France. It's French. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, no, it's not because he's French. It's uh, only because he's fighting for nutrition purpose. So, you know, and uh, he's passionate about wheat as well. So when you've got passion about wheat, scientific and bakers and everything, then it's cool because you can have... You, know. you made a method for him, in fact. Uh, uh, we, were, we were a crew, so we were few. And okay. everybody has his own uh, kind of flower. So I was working with Spanish flower, uh, biodiversity flower. So <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know what... Uh, uh, this is more than wheat, actually, that one. So it will be different, but it's still better and nutritional than... Um, but I'm just kind of placing it in. Um, yeah. We've been discussing this in the UK. Is it pave? Has anyone heard of this pave? Uh, yeah, you can say pave, rustic pave. Yeah, or, pave, pave, yeah, pave or whatever. 
whatever you want to call it, call it. You know, the most important at uh, the end is the nutrition and the flavor. Can you, just because I'm getting a bit on these lines, can you explain again while you're shaking the why shape. this can hold its nutritional value and break down the starch? Because it's got a lower index, uh, glycemic index. So, so the, the point the point here is that uh, uh, as I don't uh, mix up uh, that much the bread, you know, uh, all the enzymes are making their work perfectly. I'm explaining in a very easy way, okay, for everybody to understand. And then uh, the microflora of the of the levain will take place and finish the job, which is mean that actually I've got a proper bread from the cereal and the and the sourdough itself. And for me, it's uh, this is not just only for me, but I think this is the point. Mainly, we forget a lot about the cereal. You know? So it breaks down the phytic acids exactly. and the exactly. uh, lectins, and, exactly. and so that it's more nutritious. Actually, more nutritious. Okay. The minerals as well. But by not mixing, that, by that's not mixing, more less starch damage. So your starch is more intact. He, he was exactly. saying, it, and you think that is going to actually keep the lower. Exactly, GI and, the, and the, 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 the proper, the proper yes. amyl, amylase as well. Amylase, yeah. we say in. Uh, because he said it, with this method, that if you start if you start mixing, it will retrograde. It will separate. Because, yeah. because what will happen is, is that the, the extra damaged starch particles will provide more food, and it will go faster. You will have you will have uh, probably a bread that will dry very faster, and you will have you. There is a lot of intolerance of gluten because of that, also. So uh, try to uh, have uh, to make. Uh, to make uh, someone who have a problem of dis digestion try to do a bread with a lot of uh, of kneading, and another one with not ne with no kneading, and you will see that it's much more digest because you know the amylase creates already a lot of sugar, and uh, it will uh, uh, break down. The it will break down the, the gluten and everything, everything much 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 better. But the protein protect everything, so it's 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 better for you. You know when you split everything. You coagulate everything, and it's not really natural. It's not a, a natural position of the of, of a bread. Carl, you were talking yesterday about the fermented olive saccharides, disaccharides, and monosaccharides. Is this something that you find this this kind of? He was talking about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll do it for you. It was Jan, Jan that did it for me. Jan. So today I can, and you still need to start it. But if you want to have a bread, there's already one in all the markets. J'espère que ça marche, hein? I hope it works. <laughs> because if, if it stick, you will be the one that will. I never tried that. It's a cheaper way eh, to make yeah. like a banton. Yeah. This is a Bel Belgian ba ba banton. Huh? Belgian what? Banton. Uh, it's German banton. Yeah? yeah. Oh. No, French. It's Caritec. The yellow ones? Yeah. Uh, we, we, they were coming from Germany. Uh, <laughs> no, it's genius. It's not bad. It's bien It's not bad. It's not something very hard, actually. It's uh, full of uh, good things, actually. I, I do believe it's, it's good. It's good for us. You know, it's good. It's good to know that, for, for example, uh, if I have a. Uh, 29 degrees and it's pretty hot, you know, I will use less, I will use more, you know, but I never pass for nutri nutritional bread, I never pass through 5, 5%, five if I leave it outside, I mean, and uh, more the, the flour is, uh, less less corrected is the flour, flour, better it is for the enzyme itself, okay? Certain certain people do autolyse without the starter and what is, is a real, what is a, the If you make an autolyse with a starter is a fermentolyse. Okay. So you will create already uh, yeah, a big starter. Uh, yeah no uh, you will create a first big fermentation let's say. Okay? This is not the first meeting between water, this is not the bio the first biocotact between water and flour, no. 
This is something more. And there is a lot of people who are using that, for example, if you want to work in direct. Mm. If you don't want to use code and everything, you do fermentolysis. You use fermentolysis. And sometimes, uh, because when you have weak flour, fermentolysis is, go is, is, yeah. coming, is going good because it will give you strength. Because this is what I do, because in Sweden we have very weak flour, and yeah. the flour is not that strong. You add the acids. Yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah, this is fermentolysis. Fermentolysis, actually, I don't know if it's French or not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Should be. This is is Greek. <laughs> huh? This is is Greek. I didn't follow. Break down. Fall apart. You want, are you hydrated at 90%? It's 90%. Yeah. But what is the lowest hydration you've ever done to have a successful, because I can imagine that if you make your dough too stiff, that it might not work no, the same way. No. But maybe some people do not like to have those with 90% hydration. Uh, you, can, you can start with 74, 75, to be honest. The problem is that, you know, the water as well active more. Uh, the dough and uh, I put on two percent in that case. If I would have uh, seventy-two percent, you know, it will lead the nutriment to probably more acidity and less development. So I would uh, prefer, in this case, to have more uh, development with the water. You know, okay. it's better. And it wouldn't be ready today if it was. Different. To be honest, I could I could leave it at least six hours more. Huh? And, and if, okay. if it was at 70 or 72, it would take you much longer to get ready. And I, sorry? If less water, less water, it would yeah. take even longer. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, and uh, depend about what you want as a texture as well. There is a lot of people also, you need to know what you want as a texture. You want something more crispy, you want the intake texture. What do you want really about your bread? Because this is not a way to make bread it is not the way to make bread. Right. This is a way to make bread, or to okay. get it the more nutritious as possible, as I know. Right. There, there is no, there is nothing bad. There is nothing good. This is only, I do believe that more water in this kind of uh, process is better. Is better. I don't think, uh, I don't speak about but 200 uh, water. First of all, mm -hmm. the, this is not a high protein flour, you know, and it works for the TAT. And it's very nice for the wholemeal flour. Mm -hmm. With the wholemeal flour, it's amazing. You should try it as well at home. I, will. I won't do it today. <laughs> <laughs>